Mindfulness Project family. Hi everybody, this is the Mindfulness Project Advent Calendar with day 23. And today we have a yoga class for you. It's yoga and journaling. The topic is hate to love. Yes, that's it, hate to love. Actually it's about forgiveness, but it is that Sometimes it's very difficult to forgive and it's not something we can just do. It's a process. And this what we will do today can help you in the process because we are at different levels in our digesting of our stories and things that happen. And in the beginning, it can be difficult to just like overcome the hate and the aversion. And um, some people even say it's good to go through this this time where we have like this hate so we will use this hate to find the love actually and that's a really interesting process and this is inspired by Olivia Porter she is a counselor at a women's shelter and I found it really inspiring this process and I, so I put it into a yoga class for you that you also can embody the the process so but before we can start there's something you have to understand about hate there's three things. One thing is that you have to understand that hate means aversion. It's a strong aversion to something or a strong dislike to someone. And it means it is different from anger. Anger is destructive. Anger is connected with a lack of self-confidence. And also anger is like reactive while um, hate is proactive. It means it helps us to to protect us. That's really important. How does hate do this? There's some background you have to understand from neuroscience. So this is the second thing to understand. It's what happening is happening to the brain when we hate. There are two centers, two areas in the brain that get activated. The one is the area for movement, physical activity. And the second one is the one for reasoning, critical thinking is the one that helps us to for the mental strategy that we might need to change something. So that's two really powerful things. They are important for us in life to change situations, movement and reasoning. So this is um, how hate protects us and can help us. And the third thing that you have to understand is the connection, that hate has a strong connection with love. So hate can make more obvious what we love. That's amazing. So that's what we want to do, that we look at the hate and transform it into love. So hate is something. So we hate something or someone when it threatens our love, something we love or our love to something, someone. So that's interesting. It, so let's, this is the three things, aversion, two um, centers in the brain get activated, movement and reasoning, and there's a strong connection with love. Yeah, I think that's what we need to start. Get ready. Oh, before, you need a paper and a pen before we start. So get this now, and then we will step onto the mat. Okay, then let's start. Let's start seated. Find your seat. Ground to the sit bones and rise to the spine up to the crown of the head to the sky. Sit erect and at the same time relax. Be aware of your body posture sitting. Aware of any tension in the body. Release any tension that is not needed to keep you up sitting. Forehead, facial muscles, the jaw, shoulders. Scan your body from top down and from down back up to the top 
You can use your exhalation to release and relax any tension. Slowly move up to the top again and shift your awareness to the breath, the quality of the breath, if the breath short or long, shallow or deep. Be the observer. And bring your hands to the heart, observe the movement. Connect with your heart, invite your heart into the practice. And from your heart, let's chant OM one time to open the class. Breathe in and out to relax. And breathe in to begin. Ooh. Can have an intention in your heart. Maybe you have your own intention, or you can set the intention to change hate to love or allow hate to find love. Hate to love. And then gently release the hands down. With awareness, move from seated onto the belly. You will have some more grounding by lying on the belly. If this is really uncomfortable for you, you can also turn and lie in Shavasana on your back. From the hip joints, turn, rotate your thighs outward so that the feet can point outward. If this is uncomfortable, let the feet point inward. The lower ribs touching the earth, shoulders relaxed and forehead resting on the forearms. Crocodile pose and this is helping us to connect with our diaphragmatic breathing, deep breathing. Feel the belly expanding, side body and the lower back expanding when you inhale. This way of breathing is very good when we have stress, anxiety, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Very grounding. Relax all the muscles that are not needed to hold this pose. And allow the breath to flow deep. Whenever during class you feel that you get stuck in your story or that the breath is going shallow and faster, then turn towards diaphragmatic breathing. Check your breath. Because when we have anger then or also anxiety or fear, then the breath will change, become shallow and quick, like faster. So this, your breath is a good indicator. So be very aware during class of your breath. And when you feel like some, something is too much, you can even lie on the belly and connect again to diaphragmatic breathing. Take another three conscious breath on your own.
and bring your legs together. Toes, feet can point inward now. Release your arms to the front. Turn your cheek onto the floor. Take a relaxing breath like this. Turn your head to the other side and take one more, a relaxing breath. Then bring your arms, the lower arms next to your torso. Palms plant into the ground. And push, lift, push into the floor, lift your body up, move your buttocks back into Balasana. Child pose. Have hands in prayer position. Rest the forehead onto the floor. If you cannot reach the floor, you can have something, pillow or some block or books to support. Or take your fists. If you can rest your forehead onto the floor, bring your hands to the back side of your head. Prayer hands. Connect to spirit. All your beneficial helping spirits, invite them. If there's something that fits for you, otherwise, just rest in this pose. Very good, relaxing, grounding. And if you like, you can invoke your helping beneficial spirits to support you. Be still connected with diaphragmatic breathing. Feel the movement in your belly, your side body and the lower back. Remember to observe the breath during class. And if you feel something's overwhelming, get stuck. Then check your breath and consciously move toward diaphragmatic breathing. You can go into crocodile pose that we just did before. And release your hands back down onto the floor. Open them. Distance of shoulder level. Spread your fingers. Plant your palms into the floor. Lift your head up. Come onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes under, and let's have a downward dog. You can walk your feet and downward dog. Get some movement into your legs. And then walk your hands toward, uh, your feet towards your hands into standing forward bend. Relax your head down. Ground to the feet. Allow the earth energy to rise to the legs to fill your first chakra at the base of the spine. To ground yourself deeper. To feel connected with the earth, supported by the earth. And allow to the spine and the arms, excess energy, old energy, stuck energy to leave the body, to cleanse the body. So that you can feel your vitality more. Feeling that you have a space, a place here on earth. Welcome by the earth. Gently bend your knees as if you want to sit on the chair. Bring your arms up alongside the ears. Have chair pose. Come into your power, your strength. Strong legs. And push into the earth to rise up to standing 
mountain pose with arms up to the sky, connecting earth and sky, and release your arms over the sides down into Tadasan. Like, close your eyes to connect deep inside. Check in with your breath. Breathe to your feet, ground your feet into the earth. And from this grounding, this base, lift up to the legs, to the spine, towards the sky. At the same time, relax your shoulders down. Feel a deep grounding connection with the earth. Deep feeling of being okay and having the right to be here on earth. From mountain pose, step the left leg backward into a high lunge, or you can turn your foot outward into Viravadrasana Vira 1, the warrior pose. Adjust your feet, your leg, that till you find it's comfortable, so you can have your heel be lifted. Remember to lift the back leg up, and you can dive even deeper down. You find your pose, and then lift your arms up. You can lift your heart up. Ground the feet. Keep your grounding. And from the ground, lift up to the spine, lift up to the arms. Strong connection, earth to sky. Connecting with your courage, your strengths. Your courage to go deep, to look deep. Courage to heal. And then release your arms back down. Turn the left foot to the front, turn the right foot to the front, and turn over to the other side. You can lift the back foot up to adjust, to bring it more to the outside. And then again, you find the way you want to have your legs, heel up or heel down. If you have your heel down, have a good outward rotation on the back thigh, lift the back thigh up, ground your feet, ground to the sit bones down towards the earth, and rise up to the spine and the arms and fingertips. Lift your heart, strong, courageous heart. Connect with your courage, your strengths, your power. Strong grounding to the feet. From this grounding, lift up through the spine to the fingertips. And release your arms back down. Turn the right foot, the toes point forward, turn the left foot, and step the feet together. Come back to center. Close your eyes for a moment. Stay connected with your strings. Tadasan. And then in front of your inner eye, let the situation or person arise that you have a strong aversion towards hate. and feel this aversion and don't start with the most difficult situation or person because you just explore this kind of exercise, this tool, and you want to find out if it works for you or not. And it's good to start with something more gentle, not too strong, that you can kind of back off and you know it will not be overwhelming. Start something like more easy. 
And when you feel a version inside of you, see what is the body posture that expresses dislike or aversion for you. So I will just stay still in Tadasan, that you can have the space to really find your own pose and not follow any pose that I do. Find your pose that expresses and embodies aversion and hate for you. And really go into this and feel how it is in the body. And then find the story and make a sentence. Find the sentence, I hate la 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 because la la la. So I found an easy one. I hate Coca-Cola because it makes me sick. It creates disease. I hate Coca-Cola because it makes me sick. It makes me sick, like in the form of disease. It's I hate my boss because He's shouting at me. Something like this. Find this sentence. One, two, three sentences to a situation of person. Being in your posture, finding this. And when you have the sentences, you can have just one, two, or three. Then take your paper and your pen and write them down. I hate la 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 because. And you can stop the video if you need some more time. This is the benefit of this, that you can stop it. And I will invite you to do, if you not know any posts, or I will um, go into the post that I have chosen. It's uh, Kali, like the goddess, fearful. And like with this, having the hands to the front, kind of a, no, dislike, go away from me. Not here, not with me. Connect strongly with this Kali goddess. And you can even have what I love it. I heard so much, you know this. <laughs> have your tongue out, roll your eyes. and like <laughs> Really like, ugh, aversion. <laughs> not with me. Go into this pose and experience and can go even deeper and you might feel an aversion with this pose you will feel what dislike is what aversion is it will rise in your body very easily after a while observe your breath what is happening to your breath And then say your sentence again. I hate la 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 because of la la la. I hate cola because it makes me sick. I hate cola because it makes me sick. I hate cola because it makes me sick. And release, come back up. Bring your legs together. For a moment, close your eyes. Feel how it feels having this aversion and I feel kind of a little bit of empowerment like the movement and I feel like alertness see what you feel and then step your feet again far away turn the right foot out to the short side of the mat turn the left foot a little bit gently in bend the front leg come into the here are two, but we will do a version of having one hand on our heart and one hand with the palm facing to the front. It's like a no. And we say no, but we are connected with our heart. So we're not going into the anger. We connect dislike with love. We connect dislike with love, with our heart. Kind and you can do it in your mind or even if you want to do it out like no. Or you can go into the feeling of the dislike. But you have, feel how this hate is connecting already with your heart. And then you come into center for the goddess Kali. <laughs> it's enough. 
and you turn to the other side, right hand onto the heart, and the left palm up to the front, no. Back to Kali. <sighs> Over to the right. No. Kali. <sighs> to the left. No. To the center. Kali. And come to standing in Tadasana. Take a breath. Observe your breathing. How is it going? And then gently open your feet a little bit. Toes pointing gently outward. Go that far that you can bend. If you feel like bend your knees into a malasan garland pose. But if your heels are lifting up, have something to support under your heels that you can come further down, have a deep grounding. You can have it like this comfortable sitting on the cushion. Have a deep grounding, like after going into the hay, it's good to ground down, that this cannot hijack ours. Have a deep grounding into Malasan. And then for Malasana, shift into a Vrajrasana, the kneeling pose. Put one hand onto the belly, one hand onto the heart. We want to connect the belly and the heart because we want to connect hate and love. So hate is more coming up from the belly center, the fire here, the fire center firing up. And love, surprise, surprise, coming connected with the heart center of our chest so connect this you can close your eyes to feel this connection that we want to go from the hate up to the love center and then with this connection say again your sentences say the sentence that you found before I hate la 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 because, and you change the second part of the sentence to I love la la la. So you will change the, the second part and you can also later write this down. So maybe you need to have a look on the first sentence that you found and you will change it. I hate la 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 because I love. So I say I hate cola because I love my health. I hate cola because I love my health. I hate my boss because I love to be treated with respect. I hate my boss because I love to be treated with respect. Find your change of the second part of the sentence. Connecting hate to love. You can stop the video if you need more time. That's the benefit we have when we have a recording. And let's go on to the next pose. The next pose will be again like a creativity pose because, <laughs> hey, you will find your love pose. Find the pose that express, expresses love for you. I will not do, I will stay in Vajrasan so that you are free to find your own pose. It doesn't need to be yoga pose, it can be any body posture that's not harmful. It's expressing love. See where it's touching your heart, where it's connecting with your heart. And do this. And when you have your pose, connect with the heart. And then you do the trick. You have your second sentence that you found, I hate la 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 because I love. And now you just take away the first part of the sentence and just have the last part, I love. I love my health. I love to be treated with respect. And whatever it is for you, say your sentences and you can write them down also. 
first have your pose and say the sentence and afterwards you can write them down. And again, you can stop the video when you need to. And we will all meet together in Vajrasana again, having both hands on the heart, connecting with the heart. That's what I feel like for me. It's at the moment deeply connecting me with my heart. And again, with this connection, say it three times your love sentence. I love my health. I love to be treated with respect. And you do your own sentences. And then you can write down this for what you have found. I love my health. Write everything down. And when you have done that, if you have made when you made your notes, you will come into Shavasana. A nice comfy Shavasana I will have with my friend buddy here. He's like a bolster. Feel the ground underneath you, Mother Earth, the loving touch with the Earth. And then Shavasan, allow all the new findings to integrate into your system. Connect with your breath. Invite diaphragmatic breathing. And imagine to breathe in and out through your heart. Keep diaphragmatic breathing. So the physical breath goes into you, the lower area, but the spiritual breath goes to the heart, in and out to the heart. And stay connected with your love message. I love my health. I love to be treated with respect. Integrated into your system. Breathing through the heart. Sense how you feel when you connect with your love message. And you can stay longer in Shavasana. Enjoy the relaxation. You can even do a nice loving kindness or whatever is suitable for you, meditation afterwards. I will now slowly come out of Shavasana over my side, using my top arm to push into the earth, come to seated. You feel free to stay. If you also want to end, find your seat. Have your hands in front of your heart. Close your eyes. Breathe in and out to relax. And from the heart, breathe in to chant Om one time. Namaste. I see the light in you. I see the love in you. I hope you enjoyed this journey. Hate to love. And you could connect deep with 
what's underlying the hate, what's actually what you want to. And this is when you, you know, it's this working with the hate is highlighting what we love. And when we know what we love, you know, what we love that will be empowered and what is empowered that will be attracted into our life. So this journey helped us to connect with the love, to empower this one and to attract this into our life because now we really have the sentence like, I love my health. It's a completely different message and this gives me some, yeah, I want to go for that. I really want to go for my health. I want to be treated with respect. Yeah, I go for that. So enjoy going for your love message to bring this into your life and this, what can help support this, this will be the task because it's advent calendar still, you will have a task. So if this exercise is something that resonates with you, you don't force yourself because there are many, many ways to work with forgiveness and to work with our inner world. If this one supports you, your task is for the next seven days, twice a day, so morning, evening, or whenever it fits, to repeat your love message. That's what you have found three to ten times I love my health I love my health I love to be treated with respect I love to be treated with respect connect really with your heart and feel the power behind this feel the empowerment that's in there and open up that this get attracted into your life and you will find many ways how to do this yeah I really love my health okay I go proactive I go and see what is needed I really want to do something I want to be treated with respect what is needed and you know then love is the one that protects you and brings a change into life into your life and you can make this task a little bigger if you like and have a love journal like have this hate to love journal it's more coming into the love journal and do this over time and find more and more about what it is that you love and that you want to have in your life what you like and what you're going for yeah i hope you enjoyed that if you enjoyed it give us a like and share this video if you know like maybe this could help some people on their journey then share this like this and it's amazing tomorrow's christmas i love you so much i hope you have a great great christmas but we have one more door to go and we will see you tomorrow have a great day thank you for joining love you all